The West Indies, high quality. That's how to finish it. Sisanda Magala into the attack. He was going for the Yorker. He missed by some distance, but he hit the stumps. If you bowl that kind of length delivery, but the fact that it's dipped down and hit the top of the stumps usually means that it's A-OK. -okay. Yeah. To hit the bales, I mean, I would think that would be close to over waist high, but if the dip just clips the top of the bales, and there's a wicket for South Africa. Eric Simons was the one who had this theory that you needed to practice that delivery because it was the hardest to hit. I'm sure he'll be ecstatic about it down either in the RPL watching from there. But uh, that's one way of doing it. They're just checking things. And eventually the finger goes out. Brandon King goes for train three, 34 for two. Magala strikes back. Lights are on. The crowd is alive. Smith is gone. At this stage of the game, it's important when the batsman misses, you need to hit those stumps and hit those stumps. He's done. Odin Smith may be waiting for a slightly fuller ball, but a good adjustment from Sasana Magala hitting the top of the stumps. Is that a little bit of pressure back on the West Indies? Well, I think there's always pressure when you leave the dugout. I, I, if there are runs needed, and 12 runs is 12 runs, you know, that they, <laughs> nine balls, they again, they should win the game with four wickets in hand. Should be gone. This will be, should be, is two and two. Has Nokia and Magala changed the game? So Roston Chase will come in and hopefully provide a calm head for his captain. Adjustment again from Sisanda Magala in the short ball. Clever bowling. Quinton the Cock making that a lot harder than it should have been, but a great catch from the South African keeper. Akil Hussain goes for zero. One ball. West Indies 120 for seven. The West Indies, high quality. That's how to finish it.